Before we even start this video, I would just like to say that I've been a YouTuber for about three minutes and I'm already tired. I'm hot, I'm cranky, and overall I feel late. Let's just get this shit started already. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dev from Pink Yoga. Now, here's the thing. I know this is a completely different thing. I don't have an expensive YouTube lighting situation, so don't come for me. This is an impromptu video. <laughs> so I know the regular setup that we usually have is me and Nick behind a mic. You all not seeing us, just hearing us talk. However, I, is this a hair in my mouth? You know, sometimes it's so hard being beautiful. The doctors ask you at birth, do you want to be smart? Do you want to be beautiful? <sighs> Choices are made. Decisions are put in stone. Not enough. Okay, forgive me. If I keep looking down here, I'm purely looking at myself to make sure I don't like an ass. So I'm gonna try to look here and not here. Disclaimer. So with that being said, obviously if you've read the title, I'm talking about our Kelly nasty ass. So a couple days ago, Lifetime decided to be a good girlfriend and put out the Surviving R. Kelly documentary and discussing the ladies, the victims who have come forward to talk about R. Kelly, the man who has done so much and has done a lot <laughs> of horrible things. Horrible, horrible things. Let's discuss. Now mind you, and when I say this, don't come for me. I didn't watch the whole documentary. I watched bits and pieces but overall I had enough because this is nothing this is nothing new. Well then it comes to R. Kelly, if you if if you don't really know the story, I'm sorry. But a lot of us have known of R. Kelly and his antics for years. This is unfortunately a lot of this is nothing new. It's just now that we're hearing it from the victim's perspective. With that being said, um I have a lot of opinions. Opinions on R. Kelly himself. Opinions on the victims. Girl. And opinions on the dialogue that has been coming from the black community since this documentary came out. What should I call the movie? I feel like it was a documentary. Y'all, I made this earring, isn't it cute? Okay, sorry, I, I got sidetracked, sorry. So first and foremost, I really want to get into the fact that I really applaud the victims for stepping up and coming out to talk about it and talk about the things that has happened to them. Um, I feel like there's a big thing about people feeling like there is a say it now or forever hold your peace mindset when it comes to abuse, molestation, rape, anything of the sort. And I feel like it's not fair to do that to somebody because that's a lot of trauma to go through and to try to get through. And there should not be a time limit on when you should be able to come out and speak on these things. You speak on these things when you feel most comfortable. And the fact that these ladies even just even made the choice, to, were brave enough to step forward, speaks volumes to me. And I have nothing but the utmost respect for these young ladies all of them, young and mature. I respect all of them, first and foremost. Second of all, because I really want to keep this video short because at this point, people are going to stand where they stand. There's not really much discussion to have. R. Kelly is a great artist. He has made great music, but he is a pedophile. He is an, a very abusive person mentally and physically. I have a really big issue with people who are in power and abuse that power to take advantage of people who don't have the means to speak out like they would like to. I don't think that's fair to anybody. And I think that it's really gross for you to target people who you know that if they try to say something, no one would take them seriously. That's disgusting. Shame on you. Third of all, I want to show the tea was so hot, my setup came undone handy. The third thing I was gonna say is in regards to the black community and this whole situation, 
I genuinely have the biggest issue with how normal it is for us as a whole to to sweep things like this under the rug as if it doesn't happen. It's much more common than it should be. There is no reason why a member of your family being your daughter, you know, your son, your nephew, your niece, your cousins, anybody coming to you. And this is in this is not even just about R. Kelly. This is just in general. There is no reason why somebody in your family sh comes to you to tell you that someone has abused them in any way, shape, or form. And instead of taking what they say seriously and real, truly finding the means to rectify the situation, you sweep it under the rug and tell them not to say those things, not to question those things, not to persecute the person who has done these things to you. That just tells these young people that what they have to say, what they feel, means absolutely nothing. And I think that's the most toxic thing that you can do to somebody who is coming to you, or their protector, their provider, the person that they know to love and to protect them. You as a parent, as a guardian, you as a family member, you owe it to that family member, to, to or friend, or whoever it is, you owe it to that person to listen to what they have to say and help them through that trauma and help them find a resolve. We as a community need to stop sweeping these conversations and these topics under the rug because it damages us. It 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 causes so much trauma and so much distrust between our community within ourselves. And you wonder why so many of us have have no capacity to love. We don't have the capacity to trust. We don't have the capacity to open up to people. It's so much that goes into it and there's so much negativity that comes from it when you don't allow us to have these conversations, to speak our minds, to tell you this person has harmed me in some way, shape, or form. I think for me, me personally, as because I can I'm I'm grateful enough to say that within my own family. I've n we've never had a situation like this. So I know for me, and I hate to say this because it shouldn't be this way, but my family, myself, we were, we were the lucky ones. I just pray every day that to those young kids out there that you never have to go through something like this. And if you have, that you find the means to not blame yourself and to not harm yourself for what someone else did to you. That is not your burden to bear. And I am so sorry that you ever had to go through something like that. I am truly sorry. With that being said, I think that this R. Kelly situation, which again, is nothing new. We've, we, we, they've discussed this years ago, but it needed to be brought back up for the victims because they needed to have their voice be heard. With that, I think that it's a good thing that this convers that this that this came up again because it brings up this conversation of what's right and what's wrong. And it, it really shows the colors of people who see this every day or have had this happen in their families and to see who has gone through this kind of stuff and has been raised and taught to sweep these kind of things under the rug and to make excuses for the abuser and to blame the victim. I think that this conversation needed to come up again so that we can rectify this and make our home lives better and make the universe better. And fuck pedophiles. Fuck rapists. Throw them in a slammer and be done. I like that idea. But with all that being said, I didn't want to make a super long video. I just wanted to come on here and talk for a bit. If you have anything that you want to add, please comment below. Make sure to like, comment, share us to your friends and family. And subscribe to our channel because there will be more content in the future. We, will, we have a lot of good stuff planned for 2019. I hope your new year um, started off great. Um, and I hope that the rest of you guys' this year is great because it will be with us. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.